I can do a quick roll call. Council Member Becerra? Here. Council Member Mendoza? Council Member Peñalosa? Yes, Council Member Mendoza. Thank you. Council Member Peñalosa? Present. Council Member Sarmiento? Here. Council Member Solorio? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Vegas? Here. And Mayor Pulido? Okay, we have a quorum. Okay, is the um, city manager or the assistant city manager uh, present? Mayor uh, Pro Tem, this is Christine Ritz. I am on the call. Okay, thank you. Uh, Madam City Manager, go ahead and uh, it's on, uh, I'll let you take over. Okay, so City Clerk, just to verify, are there any public comments for the item? There are no public comments. Okay, so Mayor Pro Tem and Council Members, the item before you is uh, we did have information that um, the Orange County Airport Land Use Commission has found that our proposed comprehensive update to the general plan is not consistent with the 2008 Airport Environ um, Land Use Plan. So what we're recommending for you is to adopt a resolution, um, putting on notice that we may intend to overrule their decision. We do have the planning director, Min Tai is available. We also have consultants who've worked on the project with us. If you want more details, I can turn it over for Executive Director Min to walk through you real quickly, if you would like me to do that, Mayor Putnam. Thank you very much, Madam City Manager. Is there any uh, questions or comments from the council or a motion? I have a question, or should we make ahead, a motion? Go ahead, for Council Member Mendoza. Okay. I'm wondering, um, so since we approve the project, uh, this has nothing to do with the project that was previously approved where we didn't go with the recommendations of the commission. Is that correct? That, that um, is you're correct. This has to, this has to do with a, an action taken in regards to our comprehensive update to our general plan and not a specific project. Okay, that answers my question. Thank you. Any other Mayor questions? Tim. Okay. Yes, okay. Councilmember Becerra, uh, just real quickly, staff, um, what was the vote or the result of the vote from the Airport Land Use Commission? This is Min Tai, and the vote was unanimous of the member presence, so it was 5 0. Okay, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, with that, I'd like to go ahead and uh, make a motion that we adopt the resolution uh, presented to us today. Thank you, I'll Councilmember. Second it. And we have a second by who is that? Mendoza? Mendoza. Okay, very good. Madam uh, Madam Clerk, can you call the roll? Yes. Just, uh, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, just a quick question um, for, yes, for Min or for the city manager. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, so, so basically, wh where is this coming from? Is this, uh, wh where was the, um, can you give just a little bit of background on this, uh, Min? So the update of the general plan is for the entire city, and as part of that, we have five focused land use areas. Um, the Airport Land Use Commission primarily focuses in on those land use areas that are within the Airport Environment Land Use Plan that was adopted in 2008 for the John Wayne Airport. Uh, so based on the five land use area, we have the 55 Dyer area, that is entirely within the planning area of the uh, airport. We have the Bristol also in the entire area, uh, and we have a portion of South Main, and th those are very small portion of the entire general plan. Um, in addition, those locations do not fall into any of the uh, safety zone. Um, it does um, not fall into the noise scene. Uh, uh, contour where it would prohibit residential. So therefore, we have made uh, findings uh, in the draft uh, staff uh, report and, and resolution for you to consider to adopt so that it preserved the city's ability to overrule the action of the commission. 
Uh, as a point of note, the, recommend, uh, the de determination by the commission is only advisory, and uh, the city council uh, has the ability to take an overall action on that. Right. So, yeah, we've, we've overruled them before, and we overruled them on the previous, I think, the, the, the development that uh, Council Member uh, Mendoza was talking about. So, um, and this isn't the first time we would be overruling them. I guess, is there a reason why this is coming to us now at a special meeting and not at um, next Tuesday's regular meeting? Uh, this will preserve the cities to take action as early as possible. Uh, so that it would be uh, in conf uh, uh, as, as soon as we're able to adopt the general plan, which we anticipate to be on November 17th to present to the city council. Um, and this would preserve our ability to take the overall action as early as possible after that consideration. Got it. So it's just, it's just, this is more for timing. You're trying to get this before this council, before the time, this council, um, you know, uh, disbands, right? That, that is the goal. Yes. Okay. So, um, how many, does this, is this a simple majority necessary for this or is this a two thirds majority required for this? This is a simple majority. Got it. Um, okay. And you know, Look, I, I'm not real thrilled about having things um, that we're addressing and, you know, the public not having much notice on because I think these special meetings are more 24 hours notice, but I understand the premise and I'm not opposed to the premise. I just think the, the, the procedure leading up to it was, was something I'm, you know, having a little bit of heartburn with. But um, thank you for that explanation, uh, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Does anyone else have a comment? before we take a roll call vote. <clears throat> Madam Clerk. Oh, thank you. And Mayor, before, I'm uh, sorry, Mayor Potem, before um, I do a roll call vote, I do want to uh, make mention that there was um, a resolution that was revised and submitted to the full council. Um, we will post it on the website. But I, I don't know if Lisa wants to speak to that item and indicate if it was non-substantial changes um, to the resolution. Yes, yes. Um, we submitted um, updated findings based on the hearing that we had last night with ALUC. So we just um, added some non-substantive clarification language in the updated findings that were sent to you this afternoon. Excuse me, Mayor Pro Tem, we do have Mayor Polito joining. Um, Mayor Polito, do you want to address the council? Yes, I do. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what occurred, but uh, my Zoom took me to the executive committee of the Orange County Water Board, or Water District, so that, uh, that's why I'm going through it. Um, manager's cell phone here. But uh, do we already have a motion? What are we doing there, folks? Yeah. We have a, uh, a motion and a second. Are we ready to vote or do we have discussion? So I, I'm not getting any other comments. Is there any other comments from council members or questions? Okay, I hear none, so uh, we're ready to do the vote. Mr. Mayor, you're on. Roll call vote then. Roll call vote, please. Council Member Becerra? Yes. Council Member Mendoza? Yes. Council Member Peñalosa? Yes. Council Member Sarmiento? No. Council Member Solorio? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Villegas? Yes. Mayor Pulido? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Motion carries 6 1 with Councilmember Sarmiento dissenting. Thank you. Do we have any other items on this agenda? No, we do not, Mayor. So, uh, Madam City Manager, uh, Um, no further action for anything else, so you may adjourn the meeting, Mayor.